Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters, YouTube subscribers. This is your host, The Ravenous Blackbird. Once again, you have tuned in to The Ravenous Blackbird's YouTube channel show. And um, I am your host, The Ravenous Blackbird. Uh, if you are a first time viewer, second time viewer, third time viewer, so forth and so on, and you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, right below this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, more than likely you are, please click the subscribe subscribe button. And uh, right next to the subscribe button, you should see a on the right side a bell button. Click that bell button for notification. That bell button is, if you click that bell button, every time I post a new video, you will receive a uh, notification uh, to your cell phone, your iPad, or your, uh, you know, your, your PC computer, however you're watching my YouTube videos and other uh, YouTube uh, uh, channels as well. Okay. All right. So uh, today, um, as you know, we're going to be discussing, you probably saw the title of the video. Uh, there was another mass shooting. Um, and our, you know, my prayers and my heart and my condolences go out to the eight victims, family members. Uh, I think it was eight victims that were uh, lost their lives in the mass shooting. This is in San Jose, California. Excuse me, by the way, I live out here in California, Los Angeles, California. San Jose is 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 a, is a ways away. Okay, I think in fact I think San Jose is is Northern California, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I'm not very familiar with the with the uh, geographical location, but I think it's, it's Northern California. Nevertheless, it was another tragedy. Uh, another tragedy once again under and again I'm not here to bash or disrespect anybody, but under the Biden administration. It seems that ever since, uh, you know, President Biden and, and his administration has gotten into office, we've seen, you know, wars. Uh, we've seen, and not, not to say none of these things have not existed. That's not what I'm saying, but I, but it's the escalation of uh, with, the, with Ju Jerusalem and, and the, the Jews and the Palestines, uh, you know, the, the uh, and now the mass shootings and the gun violence, okay? Um, and it's, it's, it's just, when Trump was in office, you didn't see an escalation of it. You, it was happening, but not to this degree here. Okay. Nevertheless, uh, lives have been lost again today, um, in San Jose, California. And it was eight people. If you have watched the news, I don't know if maybe it's your first time hearing about it. I don't know, but it was eight people that lost their lives. And then I think it was a ninth person that was injured. The gunman took his own life once he realized that law enforcement was there. Okay. Um, so we're here to just talk about, I'm here to talk about today, the Emerge. I did a video right before this one to check my playlist. Uh, it's called uh, Stats and Facts in World, of World Events. That's the name of my playlist, Stats and Facts of World Events. And I did a video right before this one in regards to why does it seem like ever since Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, excuse me, and I'm not saying this to be disrespectful people, okay, uh, I say this with love but without compromise, that, you know, once he got in the office, we're seeing a lot of strange things, lives being taken, inflation, uh, all kind of craziness that is now taking place. Um, that wasn't taking place before when the prior president, President Trump, those of us who follow politics, um, was happening. Uh, and the video was was about right before this one was about why does it seem seem like under the Biden administration there has been an escalation of gun violence and mass shootings. Now, if you know anything about the agenda of the Democrats, whether you want to agree with me or not, it's true. Okay, because I've done my research and many other, you know, uh, people that are into politics and, and, and that, that study to show themselves approved unto God. Not that just that doesn't mean spiritual things, also political things. Okay, so I do my research before I put videos out there, people. Not everybody just throws a video up there and case a rasara, wherever it, it lands, it lands, whatever it will be, will be. No. I, I do the research so I can be enlightened with truth, so then I can bring you the truth. Uh, the Democratic Party's agenda has, has, you know, over the past year or a few years, 
uh, has been the socialism agenda. Okay, and I talk about this in a lot of my other videos in the playlist. Okay, uh, when you see an increase in mass shootings, uh, the defunding of the police department, gun violence, uh, the funding of the police department does not just mean, uh, you know, taking their, you know, shortening their money. Okay, defunding them, just take money away from them. No, that they're also trying to in the defunding shrink the police department and if they can get rid of the police and and let the community handle it okay and if you saw the protest slash hooligans slash thugs slash rioters we know what how the community would take care of things burning up buildings and 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 busting out windows looting so forth and so on we need our law enforcement i'm pro law enforcement people i'm pro law enforcement Okay, not every police officer is bad. So the, the, the fact, the point that I'm trying to make here is with the mass shootings and the gun violence, this is part of the agenda of the Democratic Party, the far left, the liberals. Because if, if this continues to happen on top of them defunding the police, shrinking the police department, recently there has been a, an alarming surge of police officers, law enforcement, officers um, retiring or quitting the police force some of them have quit to go do a, other other job because they can't do their job without being accused of police brutality okay uh and so we're losing a lot of law enforcement officers to protect us okay so if we lose law enforcement and then the next step is okay if there's so much mass shootings if there's so much gun violence oh, uh, what we can do is now we can take their guns. See, I'm pro-gun, pro-life, pro-Trump, pro-Jesus, pro-Bible, pro-Bible marriage. I'm all of that. Okay? So the next step the Democrats want to do to add to the coming socialistic agenda is we have to take their guns. We have to have a reason to take their guns. So they, they can't protect themselves from the socialist agenda. They can't protect themselves from the anarchy. They can't protect themselves from the coming junk that's coming with the anarchy, the high crime rate. That's what I mean by junk, high crime rate. So we need to be able to have a reason to take, disarm them, okay? And so one of the ways they're going to do this is with President Joe Biden. He just said Congress needs to act, okay? Congress acting meaning how? How are they going to put a stop to uh, The only way to do that is to take our guns from us, people. That means how would you protect your home? How would you protect your family? How would you protect your children from intruders, from burglars, from thugs, from hooligans, from looters, and even from the anarchy, and even from the government themselves? Because they aim to control you, and they aim to control me. That's what government socialistic agenda is it's like a dictatorship it's like okay you can't eat and you can't sleep and you can't drink until we tell you to and now we don't have no way of protecting ourselves so if you have noticed the alarming mass shootings and there was one today i think today is may 26 2021 people san jose california another uh mass shooting eight people their lives have been taken. Another was injured. The gun shooter kills himself. With all of the other stuff that's going on, we're still not out of COVID-19 yet. We, there's other pandemics coming, and all we care about is going back to normal. This country is never going back to normal. This country is divided, and it's going to be divided. The church, the body of Christ, is divided because of the 2020 election and because of doctrinal differences. That we now have Christians agreeing with abortion and same-sex marriage. This country is divided and so is the church. Because I am pro-Bible marriage, pro-life, pro-guns. So I wanted to do a video and, and to ask you guys, leave comments. Click like, click dislike. Let me know your, your opinions. Your opinions value, value to me. Whether you agree with me or whether you don't. But I'm noticing... Under this Biden administration, a lot of strange things happening. Prices going up, and it's not just from COVID-19. It's not. 
President Biden's aim is to raise taxes, people, to pay for his stimulus packages, to pay for for the infrastructure plan and all of this other stuff. How how are we gonna pay for that? Through high high gas prices, inflation and gas prices, and, and groceries, people. And now we got all of these mass shootings and gun violence, and, and this is a part of the liberals' plan that now we have an excuse to say, turn your guns in, we're coming to take your guns. The more mass shootings, the better. It goes along with their plot, along with the also defunding the police department, slash shrinking the police department, slash getting rid of the police. Because after all, the police is bad. The police are is causing police brutality on black men. But they don't talk about the black man that's resisting arrest, causing the police brutality. You, you, in more than half of those situations, the black men are resisting arrest, people. They're, they have guns on them. And they're running from the police and jumping back in their cars and fighting with the police. What are the police supposed to do? What are law enforcement supposed to do? Stand there and let them kill them or beat them up? No, they got to protect themselves. The same thing with the protesters. So now, what are you going to do? If President Joe Biden, as much as I love him, I'm not here to disrespect him. I don't agree with their agenda because I am a Christian. I agree with God's agenda. I agree with the conservative agenda. I agree with Bible, pro-Bible marriage, pro-law enforcement, pro-guns, pro-life people. What are you going to do when President Joe Biden, when it comes to that point, and the Democratic Party and Congress come for your guns, how will you protect yourself? Baseball bat? Okay, yeah, we'll find another way to protect ourselves. Baseball bat, knives, stun guns, something. I got stuff. I'm not going to say the stuff that I got, but I got stuff. Okay? But what are you going to do if they come for you? and your guns, and your ammunition. Please leave comments, click like, click dislike. I love to hear from you. This is the Ravenous Blackbird. And until the next video, peace be still.